Hello! Um, this video is an original, um, and there's a fun backstory to the song, actually. Um, back in February, I think it was, um, one of my favorite artists, Amanda Palmer, she does these really cool things, and they're called Parties on the Internet. And so it was one of those, and apparently it got a little too racy, and um, all it was was nudity. Uh, uh. And so Ustream apparently got all uppity and strange and cut the broadcast. And so I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, there's worse things that you see on daily television, like stories of people getting murdered and, like, mass suicide attempts on the news. And it's like, so what if you can see Amanda's boobs? Everybody's seen them. It's okay. And so I wrote a song about it, and, um, yeah, it's, I hope you like it. It's, it's different, but I like it, so, here it is. There was a party on the internet, and all were invited, 300 or so people came. There's Edgar and Haley and Audrey and Shane amongst the crowd of anonymous faces. Amanda fucking Palmer was doing it right in a photo shoot done in England. The beginning was clean until we made a trip to Miss Palmer's changing room. And then everything changed. There was nudity abounds when Amanda changed tops. There was so much indecency that someone apparently called the Ustream Cops. The Ustream staff must have gotten a flag because Buzzkill Master Brad was there in the flash. He stood by for a while as Amanda donned her tassels and slept on a fishnet stocking over her face. There were fuzzy Mickey Mouse ears and buckled knee-high boots. All Amanda was doing was inviting her fans to a shoot. But I guess that's just over the top for the Ustream cops. She's a rock star, I know. She's got the world in her hands and all these malleable minds. And thinking it's fine to loving your body, I'd rather tune into art in the making than primetime TV. Change tops. So much indecency that someone apparently called for a meeting with starch press collars, trying to make it look like they're earning their dollars by protecting our children from something they've already seen. When we're not looking, 